This week, we hit the road to a small, quirky desert town 90 minutes outside of Las Vegas for their yearly swap meet supporting the local fire department and camped out at Tacopa Hot Springs Campground. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are <laughs> making fun of me. <laughs> Today we are hanging out in the town of Tacopa, California. If you guys have seen our video here last year, um, we came out here, checked out China Ranch Date Farm. We camped out, checked out the hot springs, saw some live music. It was a good time. So we're back for the weekend again because there is a swap meet out here to help raise money for their local fire department. We had nothing else going on, so we figured might as well. It's a close enough to town from Vegas. And then we're just going to disperse camp tonight, so let's go check out this swap meet. The swap meet is over at Death Valley Brewing, which is one of the breweries we went to last year. They're hosting it in their parking lot, so let's go check it out. What'd you get us? A cucumber ale and a ginger seltzer. Oh, wow. Hi. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Cheers. Oh. You can push her off. <laughs> she'll she'll go all the way in there. <laughs> so you're more like a jur journalism like channel. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I do travel and lifestyle. All right. You guys mind uh, saying hi to YouTube? I don't mind at all. Hey, hey YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. YouTube. What are you doing? All right. Well, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Well, uh, nice meeting you guys. Such a nice day today. Rio, drink water. Drink water. Oh, you little <laughs> P.O.S. <laughs> we were trying to give the dog water earlier and she would not drink and Carly was like, let's film this to show people we give her water. And then she started drinking when I started filming her. <laughs> Moonlander guys, how cool is that? All right guys, home for the night. Supporting the Tacoba campground that we ended up staying at last time we were out here. We're gonna go hit the private hot springs in the morning. It's like one of the best ways to wake up, especially on like a little bit of a colder morning. Uh, so, currently at a dry campsite out here at Tacopa Campground. Got some awesome views of, oh my gosh, babe, we gotta close the door. There's so many mosquitoes. Hopefully they're following me. There's so many mosquitoes right here. It's because of this uh, water reservoir right here, but at least we'll be able to have a pretty sweet sunset over here. And Over here. She looks like a federal dog. We got her collar on. You look naked, Rio. Big cod skin. 
Is that good, Rio? Oh, wow, that smells real nice. Maybe we should put that outside. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got camp pretty much all set up. We had a great time at the swap meet. We met a bunch of awesome people out at the swap meet. So shout out to some new friends of ours, Stan, Renee, Charlie, fellow YouTuber, Vic. <laughs> so shout out to those guys, super nice. Um, everyone that we met today was super nice. We love coming to Tacopa. The main reason why people were coming out here for the swap meet was to meet Wonder Hussy. So shout out to Wonder Hussy. We did not wait in line to go meet her, but um, we saw her from afar, which was cool to see. She seemed like a really nice person. So um, that was fun. We also grabbed some beer from the brewery next door, Death Valley Brewing, which is really good. Um, and then walked around, hung out and checked out everything that Tacopa had to offer for their swap meet. So that was really fun. Supporting some small businesses out here. Carly actually bought a necklace, which was really cool. Do you have that on? I don't know who made this, but uh, if I have some B-roll footage of it, I will bring it, show it. Very nice, very nice. We got really lucky this weekend. It's actually only, uh, it's about mid-February right now and the weather is perfect. It's not too hot, not cool enough to wear a sweater, which is great. Uh, tonight is gonna be an amazing, amazing night with the weather. We got some great mountains around us. We might go pop over across the street and go check out the steak and beer restaurant, which is always good. They had some live music last time we were out there, so maybe they're, they'll are they be doing something tonight as well. Uh, Rio is going to town with the salmon skin now. Look at oh, cod skin. Oh, oh, it's, oh, this smells so great, Rio. My goodness, all these fish scales. Who's gonna have diarrhea tonight? Yeah. Tacopa Hot Springs Campground. Got the reservoir out here, got our living room set up. Pretty much a, you know, open parking spot, but $23 to camp here, uh, but then you get free admission to the hot springs inside. So, you know, not too bad. We're, we're out here supporting local, you know, so this is probably one of their busier times, busier times of the year. <laughs> so, you know, we do what we can. I cannot believe frogs be living in here. So this is not snow, guys, just FYI. <laughs> this is all salt. <laughs> this is, kind of, I think this is what feeds the hot springs um, back over here, which the hot springs are just right across the street in these buildings over here. But uh, I believe this is where all the water's come from. Is but if you, oh my gosh, that's cool. We should go walk over there. The tiniest little lighthouse right there. Where you at, frog? Where are we? Are, is this snow? I don't know. Is it ice? Salt. Sure. Trying the espresso martini for the first time. Look at this view right now. This is crazy. The water is so still. It looks like a reflection. It looks like a picture. The camera is not really like doing this dust just. It literally could have been a Bob Ross painting with a water reservoir in the desert. <laughs> it looks like there's snow out here as well. So this is kind of tripping, tripping us out. Tripping me out at least. But it's like perfectly warm guys. So that's what's crazy. First, baby, you can be talking and I'll do this. Okay, all right, lift it up. Oh. This will be me. All right, guys, trying out these buzz ball. <laughs> this new uh, espresso martini buzz ball. <laughs> Cheers.
All right, guys, so we are making a jambalaya tonight. We have a red pepper, a poblano pepper, some zucchini. We're just mixing a couple different veggies in there. I got some green onions to garnish it with. And then we got some, on, uh, some garlic and then some Cajun style and dually sausage. We also have an onion that we need to cut up. And that's about it. We're trying to pack in some veggies on this. y'all right, trying out some cheeto buffalo flavor this is actually really good i've already had a couple it's kind of like a like a smoky cheddar type of flavor but it's really good it's not like too uh, tangy or anything i dig it so we just got done with the uh the sausages brown those on both sides we're cooking up the veggies right now and then we're gonna mix all the jambalaya stuff together Get it to a boil, let it simmer for 20 minutes, easy peasy. Let's do it. I think good. We don't want to overcook it. Yeah. Go ahead and turn it off. And two and a half cups of water. In with the veggies. We're going to throw the meat in there as well. And then we're going to throw the uh, Zatarans. We're gonna get this to a boil and then let it simmer for about 20 minutes.
my gosh, this is so hot. Oh, yep. That is delicious. Zatarans, you just can't fail with Zatarans. Those crickets, or sorry, frogs, are so crazy. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Mm -hmm. The fresh, like, green onions on it, mm -hmm. definitely makes a difference. Perfect on a cool night, guys. Perfect camp meal. So for dessert, we are making some apple pie pudgy pies. Pie, pudgy. Caramel apple filling right here. And then we just gotta stuff the uh, bread with this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that looks delicious. Some whole wheat bread here. We're gonna- Be healthy. We trying to be healthy. <laughs> We're just gonna do this here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Real Caramel apple pudgy pies off the Rome cast iron pie makers on the Ignic fire pit. I actually have cinnamon in, in the bag <laughs> and I forgot to put that on there. The, the pie filling is pretty good though. I feel like it could use a little bit more time. It's a little bit like hard a little bit. But that's pretty good though. <laughs> Maybe a little ice cream. Mm. If we would have cooked the pie filling first and then put it in, yeah, I think that would have been better. We made round two of the pudgy pie, apple, caramel apple pudgy pie. But this time we warming up the filling with some cinnamon there. So we warmed that up and then threw them into the pie and we're gonna try those out now. <laughs> it's so hot, but better. It's much more cooked. Patiently waiting. We're not going down this way. Go through the hatch.
Keeping it pretty simple this morning, we're going to be making some breakfast sandwiches using the uh, Rockland flat iron griddle over the Coleman stove. While this uh, gets warmed up, we're going to make some patties out of uh, some Jimmy Dean sausage. Spray that first. Get some bread toasting while these are cooking. So usually you have like a something to put on top and you can melt you can like run some water on it. Mm -hmm. Sausage egg thing muffin would be complete. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, getting camp all packed up and ready to go. We have an appointment with the private hot spring across the street uh, at about 10.30. So we're gonna go jet over there after we get camp all put out, put down. Mm -hmm. 
not as hot as last time. Much nicer than last time, y'all. 